Hello everyone and welcome back to Bromance here in Stellaris 2.0 with the Apocalypse DLC. I have yet returned with a plethora of a band, a group of lovely gents. Hello boys. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> now, yeah. What yeah. uh what were we I'm try I am actually trying to remember. You oh, right, 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 you. right, 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 right. We're, we're taking over an you. AI race so then we can take over a uh, hegemony race so that Sabanus can get his territory back. Yes, plus Vanguard yeah. is going to help me kill this Dreadnought because he cares about me so much. Got yeah, it, exactly. got it, got it, got it. I'm, I'm dealing with pirates mostly. Which is just... Unpause the game? You won't pause the game. Uh, and I am very worried about this Orasi <laughs> space. About at any point they're going to break their non-aggression pact and then just charge into my territory and blow up my planets. Well, oh. then keep garrisoning your uh, uh, your border. Wait, wait, make it oh, I am. Oh, I am. Mickey, oh, oh they, I am. That's where all my money's going. They have an aggression pact with you, Mickey. Yep. Well, no, I mean... What is no, that? No, no, the, no, um, no, they have a, they have a truce. That's it. Oh, truce, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, not sure. Non-aggression pact would be nice. That'd be very nice. But no, yeah, no, but no, 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 I, I ask it because I never saw an AI broken a non-aggression pact before unless you oh, piss really? them off. Yeah. Huh. They, they tend to be... Truthfully, to their beliefs, let's put it that As way. we know, that's nice because right? uh, like, uh, like all the Total War games, they would never do that. It's like I, I yeah. remember there was a, a I read something about how the diplomatic AI and the military AI, AI were two separate entities, and they would actually fight against each other in the same um, nation. So the di diplomatic AI would be like, "Yeah, um, we'd love to ally with you," and then the military AI would send all their forces to the border and then attack, and it'd be like, "Great, awesome, thanks." <laughs> Thanks for allying with me. So <clears throat> we have this war one. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so I'm moving my battleship fleet to the north, about, and I'm going to jump to where you are, and we can engage much, the, the dreadnought. Then. No, well, first though, we gotta believe it or not, we actually have to go to war with the interstellar because um, I can't. Thirty k, actually. Just hold a second. You have a repair ship there. Do you guys remember to if uh, to get the dreadnought you need a science ship or a repair ship? I don't know, but I've got both there ready to go. You do. If you have access to that system with both ships, uh, I can just jump there and kill the dreadnought for you, and you can reclaim it before the war. So you have a twenty k pet on the at the war. But well, wow. the problem is, is that he also wants to think, do things like colonizing and stuff like that. He can't get there with any of his ships because he's no, got two uh, planets well, between those I, areas. I understood that, bro. I get what I'm you're saying, both, uh, saying. I want is that we, if, if we get the Dreadnought before the war, that's what I'm trying to say. He can get the Dreadnought and we go to war using the Dreadnought with us. Yes. Do that, you guys that, need me or can I send my ships home? Um, actually, I, don't know. I, think, I think destroying them before you get the dreadnought would be good because the problem is, is that the long right now they're weak because they've just lost a lot of their territory and they've been fighting with AI or with the okay. robots. So if you take uh, them now, they're weaker. That's than fine. If you leave it for you know a year. Yeah, I'm good with that. Long. Plus, the, the dreadnought's fine. not going anywhere. And yes, yeah, Mal, we need you. Okay, where do you want to? <laughs> where do you want me to rally then? Because I want to uh, just clear, those, just clear those, those last two systems and rely on Prima. I don't think there's anything left. Uh, there he is, Sosta and Pildram. Oh. Uh, Actually, if we declare war on them, we're right on top of their 38k fleet. Is that where we want to be when we declare war? Yeah. Do you want to be right on top of their fleet? Right, go to Planet Knuckles, that's where they are. Yeah, exactly. That, do, you, that do you see what I'm know. talking about? No, I have uh -huh. no idea what we're doing, so why don't you guys clue me in so I can... Where, okay, do, you, where so... do you want me to go? Uh, go to Shermaton, X-A-R. I'm going to send my battleship fleet there and we go backdooring them while okay. Sabaoth and my other fleet go to the top. X Does that X make sense? X-A-R? Yes, yes. X-A-R-M-A-T-O-N. Okay, send in my fleet there. Okay. Okay, uh, Sabaoth, I'm just going to leave that interceptor <laughs> fleet on your command, so Construction. do whatever, whatever you want. Do you see where we're? Do you see where we're sitting on top of right now? Yeah. Okay. That fleet has no chance against what we have there, so don't worry. And then, do we want to peace out with the robots first? 
The ones that are in disguise? Why haven't they... Oh my god. Why haven't they <laughs> pieced out yet? What is? What are they waiting for? Um, Mickey Do we not have all their systems? Mickey gets my hand. Dosta. Can you set status quo with them? Or they are not accepting that? No, I can settle status quo. Do I want to just do that then? Mm, yeah, as far as, got as, all as, far as and stuff. Yeah, Let's see, attacks exactly. the Vanguard's Empire. Uh, if we get all our claims on that way, that's inside. Or I think it's giving us all the claims. Okay, so if you want to give it a try, that's fine for me. Unless somebody has some. Okay, no, it yeah. didn't give us all the clan games again. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to get it eventually. Well, status quo doesn't give you claims. It gives you what you control. I controlled. Um, it didn't give us not anything at all. we control. <laughs> exactly. I that was very a odd. Lot. Yeah. I but controlled no, you, a lot of you things. controlled. It gives you what you can control, but you didn't take the surface of any of the planets you were about. Uh -huh. Oh, so you need to take control of the surface. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you controlled. The, you got the ones you controlled, which were the station, were the ones that only had stations in them, because yeah, you control yeah. those automatically. That's what it means. So that's. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Oh, you no. needed to take the ground to, to make that work. Okay, so. All right. Ten years from now, we do that. So that sucks. just just wait for Mal to get me yeah, on Shermaton. It's about to declare the war. Or you could just wait for point. the for the interstellar hegemony to take some planets because they've already taken one of the planets. That uh... yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, let's wait for let's wait for them to beat these robot guys. Because now okay. they have to because they yeah. have no fleet to okay. fight that, back with. That's fine for me. No problem. So <clears> let's. <throat> I can't freaking go anywhere because my ships are just trapped in a Skella because I've, I've got... That's so odd. They can't go anywhere because they've got me... The border's closed, so my, trips are just, my ships are just trapped. Yeah, let's wait for them to kill the AI, and then we'll declare war on them. Roger that. <clears throat> that seems like a good plan. That gives us time to build up anyways and get stuff moved around. Copy, copy. Construction complete. Oh my god, <clears throat> refugees are just flooding into my systems. <laughs> from all of, from different places in the in the world. Oh my the galaxy. god. Like the ro new Roanoke has no humans on it anymore. They just it, like it's just refugees flooded in and took <laughs> over. It's just the habitat of refugees. But that's fine by me because every tile that I put a energy production facility into is making ten energy on this station or on this uh, habitat. So yeah, that will ha habitats are just awesome. Well, it's normally six, but I have a lot of bonuses because of my governor and stuff. So yeah, but uh, yeah, that stuff that's gonna change my whole uh, energy situation real quick. The Gekans are so cute. They are, right? <laughs> yeah. The hell? Um. What happened to my battleship fleet? Missing in action. What the hell? Uh, it was probably in territory it couldn't be in when we ended the war. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds like right. It. Yeah, got it. I'm got it. waiting for that to happen. It's gonna happen to our fleets up here in Escala as soon as yeah, the well, Interstellars you, take it. You might, you might want to retreat to Crimador. Yeah, Crimador. That's the name. But does, I, see, I would. Cri. Actually, Vanguard, if you if they haven't closed borders to you, get your get your fleet out of there. Yeah, they have closed. Uh, where do you want me to go? I can jump I mean, away from there. Yeah, just jump name just the system. Wherever, uh, Fid Fid Hillam, Fid Fid Hillam, F I D H I L A M, okay. right next to Dojak. Actually, I have to jump to Bobima, and I'm going to move there manually because okay. of the range. That's, that's, that's fine. good enough. Yeah, jumping. I can't. I'm gonna be trapped, so I'm just gonna have to go missing in action. But at least you'll get out of here. You won't okay. lose any ships. It'll just yeah. It'll just deposit you somewhere 
probably probably to that little alco alcove you've got there, so you'll be attacking from the opposite direction this time. I'm building stuff, trying to balance out my economy. Death. Oh, I can taste the positive energy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm at negative nine right you now. You can do it. One more, one more energy production facility on this habitat and I will be in a positive energy. Hey Roach, what should second. my station platforms be set to build on? Their uh, setup. What do you mean? Uh, weapons, uh, abilities, stuff like that. Your stations? What do you think? Yeah, like the weapon platforms. Oh, the weapon platforms? Oh, I I've got... Yeah, I've got mine half and half to... Uh, what is it? Fighters and uh, size? Mine's, yeah, mine's missiles uh, and uh, hangar. Hangar and Siles works very well together. Roach, yeah, you uh, Vanguard, you second that? Yeah, sure. That's fine. Vanguard's the one that told me to do that, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, what I told you, I think I misspelled it, is to build the defensive platform zone with only fighters and the station itself only with missiles. But doesn't matter, mixing them is well, it works well enough. The, the difference is marginal between them really depends on what you're fighting against uh hold on when you're when doing the setup what what do you choose the section as light medium heavy uh point defense or it's not point defense or missile missile station section hangar station section ah uh, yeah okay, gotcha both of those i have an unspent civic slot if i don't have hangar then i'll just build two missiles yeah yeah if your missile technology is way ahead of your hangar technology, you should build missiles and the other way around also is true. Were you saying that uh, torpedoes were rubbish? Let's go with missiles. Uh, actually, that depends. That's the problem. The later the game is, the more powerful torpedoes get. On the base, just go for the to... go for missiles to begin with. My missiles tech's much better than the uh, yeah. torpedo tech anyway. Okay. Yeah. And armor or shields? Shields always. The AI tends to use anti-armor weaponry more than they use anti-shield weaponry. All right, I'm implementing citizen service as my new civic. Oh, and I just discovered something hmm, interesting. Oh. Um, uh, actually building hangars on your station and missiles or torpedoes on your platforms is better now because Paradox changed the way the stations work. Before, if you build missiles on your stations, they are going to be, to be all torpedoes, no matter what. Torpedoes all around. And now they are changing between torpedoes and standard missiles. So hangers are better on stations now, and since you can select what kind of module you're building on platforms, you can put torpedoes there. It was the other way around before also, because fighters, they have a, a lifespan. If they are dead, they will not respawn short enough. That's why you build fighters on platforms and torpedoes on stations. If the station is dead, the battle is over. The platforms die first. So it makes sense to build torpedoes on the stations, right? Now, since you cannot select what weapons your stations are using, um, it's more firepower effective to put the torpedoes on the platforms. As much as I hate to admit it. Interstellar is almost done cleaning up the robots, so as soon as they're done doing that, that's when we'll declare our war. Okay. Meanwhile, how's everybody else doing against the robots? The Cabal? Still, uh, nothing's changed. Yeah. Uh, and the integrators, the technocracy and the integrators have not had their borders shift in I don't know how long. Also, the other thing was that fighters, they have more range than torpedoes. 
and Titans and battleships can technically outrange the the platforms, but against the AI it doesn't matter. Yeah, because I won't do that. Okay. Um, so it's better to put torpedoes on your platforms and hangers on your stations. It's just as simple as that. <sighs> Stop changing stuff, Paradox, please. Thank you. No, keep changing things. <laughs> <laughs> Construction. Don't become Hoi 4's dev team. <laughs> You play that. It. You play that game a lot for a guy that is never saying anything good about it. Because people want it, damn it! And I can't. I didn't. I try. I try so hard. Do something <laughs> else. <laughs> but they just keep pulling me back in. And I haven't played it all that much. It's not. It's not like. It's not like I don't play anything else. I, I'd say I probably play more Star Stellaris and uh, E. I think I have more Stellaris and EU Four series than I have Hearts of Iron Four series. I think channel. I think it's that there's just not a lot of Hearts of Iron, like doesn't seem to be like as many Hearts of Iron players out there. Period. So there's probably just let's there's oh, less no, let's there, plays, right? No, there's there. Are, it's uh, the thing about the Hearts of Iron Four scene is that the the thing is the people that do do it either do it all the time and they have become a Hoy Four meme channel, or they do it and they kind and you know they just kind of. They're just the normal content because you have like what what is his, what is his name I Sorrow I Sorrow Productions or whatever it is and he's he's like a big thing in uh, in like uh, in the Hoi Four area and he's like huge and uh, and he was uh, he works with Paradox pretty closely because he's you know the biggest channel for Hoi Four. Uh, it's yeah I, I don't know it's hard to explain it's. There's a lot of there's a lot of series out for it. You just a lot of it's not big, and the one that is is very big. So it seems like there's not a lot going on. And I'm going to say this: Stellaris is better. Um, You're welcome. Vanguard, can you open <laughs> can you open borders for the for the um, Interstellars so they can get to Fionis there? Uh, who is Interstellar? Construction complete. The Interstellars. Um. I'm trying to figure who are they. The, our number one. The interstellar are... hegemony. Okay, interstellar hegemony. Construction. I don't think yeah. they're the ones blocking borders to you, so that you can't. But open. if you open borders to them, they can get to Fionis. I don't think they can get there if you got closed borders. See where Fionis is. Oh, one okay. Place. Got it. Yeah, Case. so they can get there and destroy them and wipe them out. Uh, actually, my borders are open. You want me to close? Is that correct? Oh no. No. Never mind if they're already open, then don't worry about it. Yeah, it's open. You're okay. already open. How the hell does one station I have that has platforms? It has six platforms and it has 11.2k weapons power. Another station I have has 16 platforms with exactly the same setup. And it has. Oh, okay, now that's jumped up. Oh, Never mind. Nice. I guess it was um, upgrading the weapons. I just checked that. It didn't. Mickey. I just checked that. It didn't. It didn't say that. Okay, no mind. Poor Mickey's losing it. Poor guy. Uh, where are these yeah. guys going? What do you know? It's gibbering now. It's There's gibbering. more pirates. <laughs> Okie dokie. You said that your borders are open, Vanguard. Where the hell are they going? Yeah, they at least they should be. And then it just verify this because they're I don't trust myself. The ones that they're prioritizing one system over the other because it's the AI. So it'll do you see them flying funny. through my system though? They're going to attack a starbase somewhere. So I don't know where. It's it's just how they're doing it. Can't really. I don't yeah. I don't know where they're going. There's nowhere for them to get to unless no. Oh. I don't know where they're going. Do you see them right now? They're in Pabma. They're in my space. They're just cruising along. Wow, 50k fleet. That's huge. Yeah, where are they what? going? What the hell did they have on that fleet? <sighs> yeah. A lot of kinetic artillery. Wow. <laughs> they're pretty decked out. 
their battleships are very messed up. A lot of <laughs> missiles. Yeah, point defense. Nah, no. I don't have any point defense either, but I'm thinking it's not a bad idea. Yeah, don't worry. Torpedoes don't hit smaller ships, and they don't just have torpedoes on the cruisers. So yeah, don't worry. It's not worth it. Technology discovered. And point defense does nothing against marine missiles. They are the counter to point defense, so don't worry, Tommy. Uh, sorry, I said a Portuguese word. I was trying to say don't worry either. Well, I guess they have jump drives. That's a problem. They're not taking a SCOA. I guess we could just declare war on them and just deal with that later. I mean, they, uh, might yeah. they, they might take a Skella. Right now, they have the... they have a... I think they're just waiting for an army to get there. Okay, but, just, hold, just hold a second, Sabots, because my battleship fleet got teleported in, back. There's an army in uh, Kajubus? Kaj I, I see it. It's just it. sitting there. It might take them a little bit. Just give them some time. Then their other army is... Okay. ...in break. Uh, so, let me just rejoin with Mao here in the south, it's about so we can do this. Yep. Just give me a second. It's going to take a while because Titans. <sighs> that was nice. I just transferred 21,000 minerals from one of my sectors. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Time to build some ships! Well, also, if somebody's needing minerals, just let me know because I'm almost full of the stockpile, on the stockpile. Ships just send a request of how much you want. Ships upgraded. All of them. They want all yeah, of your minerals. I, I, could, I would say that I could use all of it, but honestly, the minerals we spent, um, like, in the south, um, helping take back that territory, right? Yes, no? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, as I said, if you need minerals, just, just send a request with the amount. I have 41k sitting here doing nothing. Ships up. Copy just that. send a request in with triplicate. Make sure you put the carbon <laughs> copy underneath. <laughs> well, things sure turned around for me. I went from having negative 50 to 100 uh, energy per month, now having plus 60 per uh, plus 66 per month, and I'm now actually nice. full on my energy. Yeah. Okay, uh, my Titan fleet is following your fleet, Mao, on the south. It's very you know. Okay, so it's about if everybody is ready, go for it. Um. I'm wondering what I want to do. Let's see. They've got that 50k fleet's almost to Mal now, for some reason. Maybe it's going around. <clears throat> do you see it? Ain't that weird? Uh, it's using jump drives, about that's why. No, no, it's been going. Th it traveled through my whole system so far. Just driving. It's just flying normal around. hyperdrives. What? If you're talking about the six star forwarder. Star Order, they're they're, in, the they're inside they're inside her right now. They're just literally drive. They've flown through through my whole territory so far. They're heading up towards Mal. They have orders to attack a star base, but I don't know which one or where they're going. Construction complete. Look inside her. S C I D A R. Construction complete. It's a 50k fleet. They're not jump driving around. They're just they're just hyperlaning. They've just been hyperlaning through my whole system. Oh, they're heading I see. up. You see them? I don't. See, the nice thing is I could close borders right now, and then that would put them in missing in action while we declare war. That's a very valid strategy. Okay. Well, I got one jump left before you do that. I'll close okay. borders right now. I, just, I was kind of curious. Though. I wanted to see where they went. Maybe they go really far away, and then we... I mean, Mal can still close borders to them, and then they would go and miss in an action, so it's not like we're missing... An opportunity because they got to go through males territory. Maybe we let them go wherever they're going, so that way they've got to. They're like really far away because it take them forever to jump back. So their 50k fleet would never be in action. Yeah, I say we 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 let them keep going. 
Okay, just be careful because they have another fleet on Acela. I know, I can't get my fleet out of there, so I'm like trapped mm. with this 39k fleet that would wreck me. Oh, hold on. But, let's just let these guys keep slow boating through Mal's territory and see where they go. Okay, I can jump there. To, I'm, I'm going to jump back there to Acela with my interceptor fleet, oh, okay? Oh, perfect. Okay so, well, okay, so the plan then is we'll let that fleet keep moving through Mal's territory because mm -hmm. we don't know where it's going. But it's kind of funny because it's going really far away, so let's just let them go really far away. And then we'll declare war. And then we'll destroy this 38k fleet, and then that'll be their only fleet down here that they have to defend themselves, because their 50k fleet will be like a million jumps away. And then we'll just start wrecking their territory. By the time the 50k fleet gets to us, the war will be over. Fine. Do you see where they are now in Mal's territory? Do you see them, Mal? I am not paying any attention at all to anything, you, you guys anything are you're about. saying. There is a. No, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being, I'm just being honest because I'm, I'm really, really focused on trying to get everything ready. So, what did you need me to do? Oh, nothing. If we declare war, there's going to be a 50k. <laughs> there's going to be a 50k fleet in the middle of your territory. Have fun. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> that's that's kind of unfortunate <laughs> for them. <laughs> A big old <laughs> fleet there with pink trails. What, pink really? Yeah, trails. Are, you, are, are you being serious that there's going to be a no, he's in fleet? Sabel. He's in your... Just jumped. Quafoth right now. He's right south of Lambidus. <laughs> Why don't I close <laughs> my borders to my this territory. guy? Then? Don't, don't do it yet. Don't do it. We want, them to, we want them to go really far away. And then become missing in action because that increases the time it takes for them to get back and yes. become available again. Are you guys playing games with the safety of my empire? You yes. are. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't really appreciate that, gentlemen. I do well, not it appreciate it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. It's just, it's just a little bit harsh, but okay. <laughs> just Gotta just ask yourself, you. Mal, do you want to be safe or do you want to be a winner? Right. <laughs> well, that's true. This is there's some truth to this statement. Okay, so they're doubling back around actually. You believe it or not, I think they're heading all the way down to kill. To well, this kill is kind of cool. Taking on two of the big ass pirate galleons at once. Mal. Yeah, what? I think they're coming to kill the pirates for you. Oh, uh, well, I, I already killed them. Yeah, but I don't know why they would have that order to do that, but that's why I think they did that big circle. Oh, well, yeah, pirates are dead. That's kind of bizarre. It doesn't make uh, much they sense. They could have used that circle. They could have they taken a left at uh, Uzara and cut. Yeah, go this doesn't make. I don't know what they're jump. doing. Okay, well, either way. Um, maybe, they have an, maybe they have an enemy, but uh, maybe they're going up to Lando. But they're coming back now. They're coming back Not down Lando. south. Not Yeah, Lando. <laughs> and it's Twin Moons. Calrissian. All right, I guess uh, you guys ready to. Do the war because they're gonna come back south, so we might as well. Well, we, close well we can do it in the next one because we're over on time. Oh, okay. So well, that's what, what? we're planning to do. No. Yep. We Cliffhanger. Are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Don't folks. vote all the videos. Hope, hope, that, <laughs> hope, that, hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal for Mickey Commissar, Roach, Vanguard, and Sabouts, and we will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. See ya.